Well, since our loss at Porto, we have been on a decent win streak. We beat Lens 1-0, thanks to an Okomie goal in the 12th minute. And then we beat Michelin 2-1. This was a pretty fun game. It took a Gaspar goal in the 61st minute to put us over the top, but as you can see, at least from most of the players, Polistri and Okubi aside, I think we had a pretty solid game. Now against Lille, we beat them 1-0, thanks to a Gaspar goal in the 17th minute. And then against Marseille... Origi got two goals in the 80th and 82nd minute to make the game look a lot closer than it actually was. We were actually 2-0 up after the 8th minute, and then 3-0 up after the 23rd minute, and then we just kind of sat back and said, come and get us, and they eventually came and got us. But both Origi goals were nice. And the last eight minutes of the game was pretty much squeaky bun time because I was waiting for him to score a third and claw the drawback. So today we're playing St. Gallen and Strasbourg. Currently in the Europa League phase, we are in 26th place. We beat St. Gallen. We get up. Uh, let's see, um, hopefully somewhere around 14th. So they're a tough club, though. Uh, Swiss club, some very good players. What did they finish last year? Last year they finished third. How exactly did Trivet, Vaduz, and Basel qualify? What the heck happened here? Manageable fair play, maybe? That's just strange. I've played in Switzerland before. I don't remember seeing results like that, but must be just my luck. The Samba's wanted by Inter. That is new. It's not bode well for the upcoming transfer window. Twelve to fourteen million. If I can get, if I can get that, maybe. He had a really good season at Firth last year. He's been a decent contributor for us this year. But he's getting a start today because I've got four other starters on yellow cards. And I don't want them to miss any other games if I can help it. And in this case, I think I can. So we're gonna have a Kube goal and Hoisten and Fjellheim as the defensive backs. Arm Baru and Asamba as the wing backs. Demir and Vettelson. Vet Betlison as the midfielders, Zaga and Sforza up top as the attacking mids, Gaspark and Padilla as the strikers. Ambaru up to Gaspark. Gaspark back to Armbaru. Demir. Gasparic. Demir. Back to Kubi. Over to Fjellheim. He's Vetlison. Fjellheim back out to Asamba. Asamba cuts inside. Long pass Gaspark up by the defenders. And he puts it wide right. Oh, that was a nice chance. That was Schmidt on the throne. Loco. Back to Schmidt. Glitchy. Stans. Stan. And he scores, but I think he was off sides. No, he wasn't. The flag's not up. Unless it's going to be a VAR off sides, which I'll take. When it goes against me, I hate it. When it goes for me, I love it. Really even game so far, though. That was a dangerous cross. Asamba stops it from going out of bounds. Johan. That's here. That's he's Padilla. Padilla to Sforza. Sforza long pass. Gaspar got by the defender. And he redeems himself with his 15th goal of the season. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, it's very nice. He broke between the defensive center backs really well. That time it is 1 0 thanks to 10 shots, 5 on target. Rexy's 1.42. That wide open miss by Gaspar. I hope it doesn't come back to haunt us. No highlights the second half. Oh, it just started. Okay. Dia. Need Zanga. Pushing up the field. Crosses it. Padilla, top of box, goes right, holds it up, back to Demir. Demir launch. Wow! Holy cow, that was one hell of a strike. A fabulous strike. I agree with the commentary. He put that thing upper right corner from at least 27 yards away. Kolo crosses it in. Akube out jumps the St. Gallen. Attacker for the ball. Holds on to it. He bombs it forward. Padilla heads it forward, but there's no one to help. We got that graphical glitch again where the uniform isn't showing up. That's interesting. That happened in my Vardar save last year. I thought it was an issue with the league I downloaded, but maybe not. Amari. Schmidt. Schmidt. Oh, sends it through, but it goes too far. McCon and Gussard. Okolo turns around, and he puts it up a left. Okay, I think we are going to take this opportunity to make a couple of... Wow. Substitutions here. 
We'll bring on Altera for Van Hoijten. Bring on Tome for Asamba. Bring on Inamori for Arambaru. Bring on Varela for Demir. Star to Sans. Watching. Borrow Sans. I know that name. Why do I know that name? Oh, nice takeaway. Tome. I'm going to send Sparks there for a header, his 17th goal of the season. Altair, Gaspar, Inamori, Zanga, loses the ball. Colo to Guasan. Okan, Colo, running right. Crosses it in, Fjellheim knocks it down. Inamori sends it forward. Coloco ends up with it. Ratnik, Bisniki, Sands. Whoa! And Mary, a nice shot of his own. No, Gaspar has a brace. Demir had the other goal. That's right. Forza sends it in. And Zor jumps up and grabs it. Polo heads it forward. Inamori. Varela. Inamori, he bombs it forward towards Zanga, but it's headed down. Gortier, Voloco. Oh, what the heck happened there? Oh, come on, guys. What the hell was that? Freaking kidding me. 16 shots, 8 on target. They're 14 and 8. Freaking 90th minute goal. Sees them claw the drawback. Where does that leave us? 21st place. Wish we got Alsace and Al Alsace in two days. I need to change the training up. That was annoying. Question as well. Oh, we got Alsace coming up, and they are currently. Oh, Strasbourg. Okay. Strasbourg. Currently in ninth place. 110,000 for the draw. Spark was on fire. was a good match for him. I'm going to save the game here, and then we will be back with our game against Strasbourg in just a bit. So two days between games, not a lot of things went wrong, which is to say nothing went wrong. I just got a couple of tired guys that I'm starting today. Um, Double-check a couple of things here. Everybody seems pretty much fit. I wonder if I do the quick pick, what happens? See if Spark would... We can do this. We'll go, so we're going to have a Kubian goal. Van Hoysen and Riedel as the defensive backs. Inamori and Tomei as the wing backs. Demir and Andre as the midfielders. And Jordan is, and Polistri as the attacking mids. Gaspar and Padilla up top as the strikers. On the bench, Bellman, Arm, Barros, Forza, Comier, Varela, Asamba, Johan, just in case. Riedel. Up towards Police Street. Tome intercepts it, but Bellegarde picks it up. Having between the defenders. Oh, Demir heads it away. Martinez. And again. Is that Demir again? No, Inamori got in front of him, knocked it out of bounds. Corner kick for Strasbourg. Knocked away. Back to Matondo. Weavert. Oh, just high and right. It was a good attempt. Gulo. Demir, Dwayne Jorn, Padilla. Inside, outside. Over to Police Street. Police Street. Padilla takes the shot, hits the crossbar. Bit ambitious there. Angulo. Hits it too hard for Matondo. Kube bombs it forward. No one in a green kit nearby. Bellegarde ends up with it. Matondo to Garby. Back to Matondo. One on one. And Akube. I don't know if that was a block so much as it was desperation to not get hit in the face that prevented the. Goal. Knocked away. Tome tries running it down. It doesn't get there in time. Bautista flopped looking for the foul. Didn't get it. Pondo. Padilla steps in front of that. Knocks away. Andre. Out for Demir. Nope. Giebert steps in front of that. Pondo. Inside and right into Kube. He had help on the middle, on the middle and the far end of the box, and totally ignored it. Matondo again sends it in. In Amore knocks away Angula. Back to Matondo sends it in again. 
Erlson to Puerto. Marsiglia, Ebert, Bautista, Ebert, Darby, Bellegarde, and Joran, Demir, Van Hoydston, Inamore, Van Hoydston, a little bit of back and forth, Demir, Padilla, the Gasparic, taps it over and Joran, and Joran, oh nice shot! Looked like the defenders were going to close down on him there, but they gave him a pathway. And he had just enough of a hole to score. And at halftime, we take a 1-0 lead into the locker room. Tome. Yeah. Tome sends it in. Knocked away. Oh, what a misplay. And Gaspar gets his 17th goal of the season. Perkelson went for the ball and missed it, and the defender knocked it away, but he didn't knock it far enough, and Spark was right there. And Matondo takes a shot, but Kube falls on it. <coughs> the 57th minute after this, we'll look at making a couple substitutions. The Jorke. The Garby. And Bellegarde scores. We'll get one back. Gonna bring a, tombe, a samba on for Tome. And a Komie on for Polistri. Tondo. Sends it in. It's knocked away. Baptista. Roberto. Back to Marsiglia. Roosterol. Belagar. Rito heads it down to Kube. Kicks it forward. Gaspar can't control it. Bellegarde out to Matondo. Centers it to a Jorke. Back out to Matondo on the left. Coming inside, and he puts it wide right. He rushed his shot. Padilla from just outside the D. And he puts it away upper left corner. A very nice goal for Ezekiel. Padilla. Probably blanking on his first name. It just popped up in front of me. Ezekiel? Oh, another missed chance there as the keeper muffed it. Oosterwald bombs it forward. Nice first touch by Jorke. Gets it back to Bellegarde. Bellegarde driving forward. Cutting through the defenders. And he scored. Jeez, guys. This spring patch could come out soon enough if they're going to dive through the defenders like they're just standing there with freaking lumps of concrete on their hands. Andre, Verdell, Demir, Van Hoydston. A little bit back and forth. Andre feeds Gasparic. Nice save by the Strasbourg keeper. Joran. Andre knocks it away, but Akomie is going to run it down. Then Hoiston. Demir. Out to Joran. Don't know what happened there. Foul of some sort, obviously. Darby. Oh, Kube got a hand on it. Pushed it above and right. Matondo. Looping cross in. Knocked away, but Baldi picks it up. Back to Matondo. Oosterwald. Back to Kumbamba. Gives the ball away. Padilla cuts inside. Drops it off to Andre. Andre bringing it forward to Anjorin. Anjorin feeds Gasparic. Gasparic taps it too hard. Torkelson falls on it. He bombs it forward. Van Hoisten to Demir. Over to Okomie. Okomie. Out towards Anjorin. Anjorin. Nice first touch. Gaspark is there. And Torkelson a very nice kick save. Anjorin. Jorke knocks it away. Asamba recovers it. But that was the highlight. New one. Asamba to Andre. Centers it to Demir. Demir feeds Gasparic. Oh, Gasparic takes it away from the defender. Holds it up. Crosses it. And Jorn is there. And he puts it away. Fourth goal of the game for us. That was a very nice play by Gasparic. He could have been way too overzealous and tried doing it all on his own. Instead, 
He did the right thing and brought the other guys into the play. Demir, Inamore, Van Hoyston, Andre, out to Anjorin. Anjorin. Back to Inamore. Inamore, Demir, back to Inamore. He centers it, Andre. Demir loops it up, but too hard. Inamori recovers that. Asamba to Komie. And Joran and Torkelson got a hand on it. Knocked away. Oh, another highlight. Andre. Back to Rudel. Riedel. Asamba. Looping pass. Padilla, can he get there? He does. Gets it. Demir, top of the box. And a nice save by Torkelson. George here on my nose. Joran. Is it in? Knocked away. Gets it back, though. Crosses and gain. Gebert knocks it away. Can Demir get there? He can't. Balde. Belgar. Garby? Garby wheels around the defender. Kube, a nice stop. It looks like he stepped out of bounds there, if we're being honest. Asamba on the throw in. Padilla. Andre. Rizal. And Hoyston. And Amore. Nice attempt, but knocked away. Ajorke. Gives the ball away to Riedel. Andre centers it to Demir. Demir, long pass towards Anjoran. Anjoran holds it up. Back out to Asamba, top of the box. Andre. To Asamba. Whoa, just wide left. That would have been a very nice goal. Full time, a thrilling game. 4-2. 22 shots, 14 on target to their 18 and 10. A lot of highlights that match. That was really fun to watch. It made even better by the fact that we won. And that keeps us on top of League Un by one point. PSG is not having the best season. Warren didn't press. And he is the player of the week. Save the game here real quick. So we... We're going to come back for Dynamo Kiev and Fein. Yeah, it's the middle of... Well, it's near the end of the transfer window. We'll skip on Jair. I'm assuming we're going to get a lower league team for this French Ninth Cup round game. Everton's... Everton's going to be tough. They're actually doing quite well. They're in seventh place. We need two of, we need two of our last three games to be wins. Draws aren't going to help us. we got to get top 16 or better. Otherwise, we are out. And that would not be good and or fun. What was good and fun was the two games we played today. The St. Gallen game was a bit of a bummer as they clawed the drawback. The Strasbourg game more they made up for with all the highlights and goals we had. Some very nice ball movement. The defense still has its lapses. That's a game issue, though. That's not a team issue. At least I'm 99% sure that's a game issue. I'm hoping, like a lot of other players, that the spring patch coming out soon is going to resolve some of those issues. But... At the same time, I'm not going to hold my breath. I can't hold it for as long as I used to. And it just wouldn't be a pretty sight. Although some of those goals in the Strasbourg game on both sides were actually really pretty. And I'm quite happy with how that one turned out. I, I, a match like that with a lot of highlights and a lot of really good play is always fun to watch and commentate. That said, if you did like what you've seen and heard, please have a like, subscribe to the channel for more content, questions, criticisms, comments. Leave those down below. I will answer those as fast as I can. My name is F. Angelico. I thank you very much for watching.